All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 indie crime drama film called Mobland, starring John Travolta and some other casts. Uh, here's the plot. A local sheriff tries to maintain the peace when desperate family man Shelby robs a pill mill. The a supposedly easy score takes a violent turn, altering the New Orleans Mafia's revenge-seeking enforcer. Now here is some of the cast. Well, you can definitely tell this was a small budget independent film by the uh, camera close-ups. The way certain stuff was up applied instead of shown in the, uh, to save on money and many other things. And that's, this is not necessarily always a bad thing. Um, there's definitely some issues with this film, but not much to be honest. Uh, even got some, most of the film shots with freehanding, which in the fast paced scenes got kind of annoying. But otherwise, uh, everything else was fine when it came to the scenes of the whole how it was shot. Uh, the director did pretty creative moves to shoot. At one point, he followed the guy, then got on the trunk of the car, then filmed as he drove off from the outside, but from the inside. So you have the back window back seats him and then you have the windshield and then you can see him going from that with a wide angle and there's many other shots that are you could tell he did like drive from a car uh, on the side as they were driving in the chase scene and stuff so it's very creative when it comes to that uh, very good casting also got some big names in here I was thinking John Travolta was going to steal the spotlight he was close but for me, it was the actor Steven Dorff as the informer. Such great acting and such an imitating character. Uh, I recognize the actor that played Trey, and he's really the only one I thought that did a bad job. Uh, I don't know his name, but I recognize him. He's usually like a side character that kills off or something, so he's not like a big type of uh, actor type of thing so um, it does not really surprise me with comes his acting skills so it was kind of a little bit phoning it in at uh, most of the time um, but the story was not bad at all I knew how a certain part was going to end from when I was starting it uh, but still didn't like it uh, but they definitely made up for it pretty fast even though the way the ending ended and was shot was a bit odd um, but yeah, that's not really a bad thing. Just, it was a little bit odd of how they shot it. It was a little too artsy for my taste, but I got the uh, concept of what it was, what they were applying. But here's my reading. I come back with my final thoughts. It was a little slow to be honest, but a good paced crime drama. Which is technically what you usually get with crime dramas, and it was not like something like big type of story. It was just like, uh, a, a, I don't know how to say it without, you know, a, spoiling it, but it was a pretty good film, especially for a small budget film, uh, as far as I could tell, because it kind of pretty much obvious like it, while still having that good quality of it. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I am planning on doing a anime live action that I originally said I wasn't going to do until I figure out a rating or, or I mean, a re the reviews, if it was good enough. And on top of that, Netflix was, has a habit of canceling these after one season. So I am going to check it out. It's called One uh, Piece pirates anime so it's going to be very interesting i love it. Uh, pirate stuff next to viking and medieval stuff obviously so so if you didn't know that um but yeah remember i love you all please stay safe school